Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating this adorable greeting card holder featuring Santa Claus. This project is part of a collaborative effort along with several other extremely talented YouTube crafters shown here. Make sure you check out their Santa creations as well and the link to their channels will be provided in the description box below. I am happy to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say welcome back to my current and new subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today, and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and also click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right into the tutorial. For this project, you will need one long sign from the Dollar Tree, and I'm using this Beware sign from Halloween this year. A pack of clothespins, and some scrap fabric. I'm using some black and red felt and some fur from an old Santa hat. You will also need a small piece of foam board. To start on this project, cover your working surface and grab your sign. This sign has a glittery, lettery background, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a sanding sponge and remove that sand by sanding it off. Now once sanded, go ahead and clean off with a moist towel and then with a dry paper towel. Now we won't be using this side, but we're trying to remove all the shedding. Now it's time to paint. We will be painting a layer of white chalk paint to the back of our sign. Now go ahead and remove the ribbon and place it to the side. Now for this, we're only gonna need one coat of paint, but we wanna go ahead and make sure to let it dry thoroughly. So while that dries, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start working on those clothespins. So grab a piece of cardboard and unpackage those clothespins. Now we'll be using half of the clothespins in the package for the project. Now go ahead and start to pin those clothespins along the outside edge of that cardboard. And now it's time to paint it. I'll be using this Krylon Brilliant Aluminum Spray Paint. Now go ahead and apply a coat to the front and the back and the inner edges of all the pins and make sure they dry thoroughly. Now while those dry, we'll work on our Santa. Now I found this image of Santa's legs on an internet search and then I printed them out. Go ahead and grab your piece of foam board and lay the image on top, facing down. Now grab your embossing tool. You can use a ballpoint pen as well and we wanna trace the image onto the foam board. Now some of the ink will transfer onto the foam board, making it easier to follow and cut out. Now go ahead and place your mat down and grab your X-Acto knife. You want to carefully cut your image out of that foam board. Now to get rid of any jagged edges, just use a fingernail file. Next, go ahead and grab your felt scraps. We're going to cut some pieces and hot glue them to the foam board. Now once glued, we want to go ahead and cut and fit the felt around the edges. Now 
Now for the boots, we're going to go ahead and repeat this process as shown here. And now we're going to go ahead and cut that third to size and we're going to add that to our Santa. Then we're going to go ahead and finish it off by folding under that bottom edge. Now to cover all those scraps in the back, we're simply going to apply an outline of hot glue and we're going to press it onto that felt fabric. And then we just trim it off and we're done with Santa. Now that your board is dry, we can go ahead and work on our brick accent. You want to take a ruler and place marks every two inches down the, each side. Then we're going to go ahead and take some painter's tape and I'm going to lay it on my cutting board and I'm going to cut it down to one fourth inch strips. Now we're going to take those strips and we're going to place them on the board. We're going to align them with those marks we just made. Now that that is done, we're just going to add some short strips vertically to form the brick pattern. And there you go. Now it's time to paint the brick. Now I will be using some crimson red and black acrylic paints. Now I'm going to mix and blend the colors and then apply them to the board. And here it is, all painted. And now that it's finally dry, we can remove our tape. Wow, look at how cool that turned out. Now we can go ahead and apply our clothespins. Here, I've already laid out the pattern that I'll be using to apply the pins. Now I'm going to be using E6000 and hot glue to adhere these to the board. And now we can add our Santa. Now 
So I'm going to apply a generous amount of hot glue to the bottom edge and then press that board firmly into place. Next, I'm going to use this upholstery needle or you can use a nail to press a hole through the foam board for your ribbon. Now I'm going to thread my ribbon into my upholstery needle and then I'm going to feed it through each side. Once fed through, just flip the board over and we can tie the ribbon together. And now we are done. We can go ahead and hang and display all of our wonderful greeting cards we received. And here is the completed project. Oh my goodness. I just think that this project is so hilarious. <laughs> I love how we caught Santa making deliveries in this one. I think that this is a fun way to display all of those greeting cards that we received for the holidays and with gifts. And there's room for so many since we can add multiple cards on each clothespin. And you can use this for more than greeting cards as well. You can add some holiday photos or hang a few ornaments, or you can even leave messages from Santa for the kiddos. How sweet would that be? Now make sure you check out the awesome crafts from the other YouTube creators from this Santa collaboration. The links to, the links to their channels are in the description box below. Listen, if you enjoyed this project, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how you plan to use this project in your home. Thank you again for visiting and checking out my tutorial. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.